25 best PS1 racing games. Number 25, NASCAR 2001. Its gameplay is accessible to racing fans of all ages and backgrounds, while its statistics and options provide a lot of replay value. Sure, it's no Gran Turismo, but NASCAR 2001's diverse variety enables it to appeal to a wider audience, whether you're a veteran of the series, a simulation fan, or a newcomer to the genre. Number 24, F1 2000 Overall, EA Sports F1 2000 is a solid title. While it isn't the definitive F1 racing game we were hoping for, it certainly plays well, looks decent, and offers more than enough options and racing modes to keep fans of the virtual F1 racing circuit happy for quite some time. Number 23, Roll Cage Stage 2 the game may not have the lasting appeal of Wipeout or Reed's Racer, but it has enough gameplay, eye candy, and bonus secrets to put it near the top of what the PlayStation has to offer. If anything, it certainly delivers on the premise of 360 degree racing better than its predecessor did. Number 22, Speed Punks. In the end, Speed Punks is a quality go-kart racing game that offers more than enough variety to warrant yet another kart racing game purchase. If you're a fan of Crash Team Racing and have been looking for another fun 4-player racer, or if have wondered if any of these kart games are any fun, Speed Punks won't disappoint. Number 21, Moto Racer. Essentially two racing games in one, Moto Racer features both dirt and street bikes, with tracks that suit each bike's respective racing style. Sure, any racing game has the tendency to grow old eventually, but Moto Racer gets extra replay points for including a multiplayer option and a thumbs up for being a racing title worth checking out. NASCAR Rumble Playing NASCAR Rumble, you get the impression that the developers set out to make a fast and simple racing game with a lot of replay value, and they very much succeeded. But the thing is, it ends up a little too simple to deliver the maniacally addictive experience provided by similar unrealistic racers. Number 19, Need for Speed V Rally 2. V Rally 2 truly has something for everyone. With an arcade mode for casual rally fans, a downright hardcore mode for the true rally fans, and everything in between, V Rally 2 is the premier PlayStation rally game. Loaded with exceptional features and play modes and great graphics and sound, V Rally 2 is a complete rally racing package. Number 18, NASCAR 98. If you're sick of the unrealistic playstyle of games like Grand Tour Racing and Test Drive 4, NASCAR 98 offers a refreshing break from the normal city racing game. Give or take a few flaws, this might just be one of the best real life racing games. Number 17, Moto Racer 2. In the end, EA took what was already a good game and added a bunch of cool new stuff to it. It's a great formula that works for this great sequel. Moto Racer 2 is definitely a game to pick up for fans of the first game and racing game fans in general. Number 
number 16, Colin McRae Rally. Closer to a sim than any other rally racer on the system, Colin McRae Rally is a skill-based game that's deep, challenging, and varied, but still not as annoying as most sims. It beats GT2's rally racing in pure death, with the exception of perhaps not in the amount of cars offered. Number 15, Rage Racer. Rage Racer is a very good racing game, and anyone who even remotely enjoyed either of the first two Rage Racer games will go crazy over it. Overall, it's got a lot of gameplay spread out over the two different tracks, and there are hours upon hours to be spent attempting to earn every single car. Number 14, Toka Championship Racing. Overall, Toka Championship Racing is one of the better racing games out there. It plays great, it looks great, and most importantly, it's fun. Not only that, Toka has cool tracks, and with the car damage, the game is just fun to play. Any fan of racing games should check out Toka. Number 13, Sled Storm. The challenge might be a little high since you get only 3 lives to complete a championship. Fortunately, there's a nifty option to turn off automatic catch up by computer racers, which evens the odds a bit. For any gamer looking for a uniquely fresh adrenaline rush, Sled Storm makes for one very worthy title. Number 12, Need for Speed High Stakes. All in all, Need for Speed High Stakes is a great driving game, but a few of the game's smaller problems keep it from being all that it could be. The inability to call for backup in the two-player hot pursuit games is unforgivable and keeps the gameplay score from being even higher. Number 11, Jared and Labonte Stock Car Racing. In the end, Jared and Labonte Stock Car Racing is a solid racing game that's great fun for anyone who really enjoys spending a great deal of time learning all the ins and outs of a totally in-depth racing game. It's definitely one of the best PlayStation Sim racing games. Rally Cross. Rally Cross is one of the more unique racing games on the PlayStation. With a little persistence, racing fans and rookie drivers alike can appreciate what this game has to offer and should certainly wrap this title up for a test drive. Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. In the end, NFS 3 Hot Pursuit does what it wanted to do, create a fun arcade racing game that is challenging and offers plenty of modes to race. If you are a fan in arcade racing at all, you left the game. Number 8, Wipeout 3. Wipeout 3 should appeal to longtime fans of the series who are looking for a new challenge and perhaps to folks who didn't find the license test of Gran Turismo too frustrating. It is, however, sure to turn off many new players because of its high level of difficulty. Driver. 
Overall, Driver is a game that might be mediocre in its presentation, but more than makes up for it in its gameplay and concept. The best thing about Driver is the feeling you get when you're speeding away from the fuzz after smashing your way through a road blow. It's the feeling of impending doom that makes playing Driver quite fun. R4 Ridge Racer Type 4 Above all, R4 is incredibly fun to play. Unlocking the cars quickly becomes an obsession, and the jog con adds a ton of depth to the game's control. Sure, you can play with a dual shock or even a standard controller, but the jog con is definitely the way to play. Number 5. Colin McRae Rally 2.0 Codemasters has opted to smooth out numerous rough edges in order to deliver a more polished sophomore effort. As such, diehard fans of the original may feel a twinge of deja vu when they dig into the update. For everyone else though, Colin McRae Rally 2.0 represents one of the most solidly addictive racing experiences that money can buy. Four, Crash Team Racing Crash Team Racing may seem like just a Mario Kart clone, and with the exception of an additional mode or two and the superior track design, it is. But it's a great Mario Kart clone, and it succeeds where the likes of Mega Man, Boomer Man, Diddy Kong, The Chocobo, and even Mario himself have failed. Gran Turismo 2 Perhaps the worst aspect of Gran Turismo 2, oddly enough, is the existence of Gran Turismo. Given the success of the original, the game's developers probably had no wish to fix anything that wasn't broken, and preferred to build on the successful formula by adding more cars, car makers, and features, such as the rally mode. Number 2. Wipeout XL Wipeout XL is probably the best futuristic racing game you can buy for the PlayStation. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous with some of the best light sourcing and effects ever. The control is smooth, the gameplay is fast, and the music is just awesome. It's games like this that make you proud to be a PlayStation owner. One, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is truly the mother of all racing games up to date. It has it all. Awesome gameplay, brilliant replays, and a reality factor that'll astound even the most hardcore gamers. No matter what flavor of racer you favor, Gran Turismo will take you for a ride you won't soon forget. Number two, 